Hi all. In my today's video cast, I'll talk about achieving Ajax functionality in JSF2 based applications. Uh, JSF2 has got uh, inbuilt Ajax functionalities. So for to achieve any Ajax functionalities, we don't have to use any third party uh, JavaScript libraries. Uh, so it has <coughs> got the JSF core relevant has got a new function called Ajax and it has few attribute, attributes and uh, few parameters through that we can achieve the other functionality. So your JSF servlet will <coughs> pick those attributes from the Ajax tag library and according to your attributes it will render <coughs> the corresponding uh, resultant. So I'll just <coughs> show you that how can we do that. Uh, as I told you the JSF core tag has got a new method called Ajax. So F colon, colon Ajax will give you the Ajax functionality on a particular uh, component. Um, say when I say component, it, it can be a, a text box or a, um, or a uh, button or a select box, anything else. <clears throat> so the moment I you add uh, the F colon Ajax uh, tag library to a uh, component, to a text box or a select menu, then uh, the text box um, the text box will be registered for firing an Ajax event. <coughs> uh, so I have created an application. I'll run, run through the demo and alongside I will just uh, describe you how, how to achieve it. <coughs> uh, so this, this is a pretty simple uh, JSS page. Uh, so here's something I have it input text. Uh, so what I have done, uh, the moment I type, type on here and I press my tab button. Uh, so I am firing an Ajax event and uh, my result will be displayed here. So as I show you, as I told you, <coughs> the moment I have uh, taken out my mouse from the text box, I got my response. Say, says, hi, Abhani, welcome to JS. Or say, uh, I'll say guest, by some tab, it came, hi, guest, welcome to JS. Similarly, for I have a select box. The moment I choose something here, uh, my result will be displayed over here. So let's say I'll choose three. So you have selected three. So, so this is a basic example of uh, Ajax behavior in any application. Uh, so I'll show you how we have done it. Uh, first of all, uh, first of all, I'll describe about this uh, text box here. Um, so this is pretty simple text box. Let's call input text ID, some ID I've given and value. Uh, I have I've created a uh, JSF managed bin over here and I have just bind it uh, one of the element to so this element is bound to this text box now the only thing we need to change is there is something called f colon ajax so if you add this I use this tag library there are few attributes in it event render and listener uh, so event is nothing but uh, the time where you want to fire that Ajax event. For example, you on, on the text box change or on blur or on focus, wherever you want, that particular uh, event you have to specify. Let's say uh, I want to fire an event on focus. So uh, the, the event should be focus. The next element is render. Now, uh, the moment you fire an Ajax event, which panel of your page should be refreshed. So that's what uh, this uh, th that takes an ID of your uh, page. Say in my case, um, uh, this is my um, uh, output. This is, a, this is the output level. And each time I what I want, I whenever uh, I uh, made some changes in my text box, I want uh, the output level to be refreshed. So what I have given render is Ajax final. So so this is the Ajax panel. So each time your uh, faces servlet will execute render uh, this particular element again and again. Next thing is uh, listener. So listener is nothing but uh, say on, on uh, when the component fires an Ajax event, in the backend or in the bin side, if you want to do some event handling, uh, so that can be achieved through the listener attribute. Um, so if you come to the code, I have created a that's been here. Uh, it's a view scope, it's a new scope in uh, JSF2, and it's a bin. And 
so i have a method called end handle ajax event and uh, it, it takes an parameter of ajax behavior event uh, so uh, i am doing some operations here i am checking uh, which component is firing the request and accordingly i am setting the uh, uh, setting the response to one 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 field over here and uh, the result string is attached to my output text here so if you can see uh, this the result is bind to uh this particular element now uh coming back to the demo again the moment i type something here let's say okay complete so the moment i press uh, move move my mouse out so what happens is this particular component fires an uh, fires an event and this listener will be executed so according to the conditions uh, this is what being rendered so uh, what it does it says the result is hi user and welcome to jsa project and in the demo pay, sorry in in, uh, in the second attribute is ajax render is equal to ajax panel so your fetch server will execute this particular element again uh, so um uh, since th this particular element is bind to uh, this the result field of our uh, ajax bin uh, so it picks up the latest value of your uh, result field so if you refresh it again let's say hello or uh, so it says this. similarly for uh, our select box also And this is the simplest select box you can have. Select one menu ID is selected, then the value I bind it to a uh, selection component or a simple string here is over here. Uh, then um, one only one element I have added uh, Ajax F colon Ajax render with Ajax panel. So uh, remember this is is the ID of the component which you want to render when you. Uh, when you want your uh, ajax response to be displayed uh, similarly uh, same thing so the moment you do some options you do select uh, uh, any item in a select box this listener will be called and since we have given render equal to ajax panel so it search for the component with id ajax panel and it executes or re-renders uh, there are a few more attributes we have in um, uh, sql and ajax tag so these are uh, execute so you can see the java doc here so it takes this form all none so uh, this uh, what it does execute means it executes the uh, which component to be executed that we can specify in this execute parameter say i want to run the uh, i want to execute only this particular component so i will say execute this if i have I have a form and um, i want to render all the form typically recursion form so then i can use form and you want to uh, render all or execute all all your components then you can specify all or none so you don't want to execute any of the components just the current component then you can give none So again, I will just show you. The moment you select here, your listener will be called. Then your fetcher server will just see uh, what is the rendered ID in your uh, Ajax uh, tag. So accordingly, it will go to the per, per corresponding component of your um, in your page and and renders it, re-renders re it. So this is a basic example of. Uh, a, a JSON-based application, uh, sorry, uh, achieving Ajax functionality in JSON-based application.